Well, here we are once again. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, 4 hours and 10 minutes into the 19th day of uh, December. It is uh, St. Nicholas. That's uh, Santa Claus's name day. <laughs> so I'm enjoying that. Uh, it's been another week of accomplishments. Another week. So far, I've been able to start upgrading uh, just about on a weekly basis. So uh, it's working out very well. Uh, the research desk is working very well back here. Uh, it is functional. That's part of the reason why I'm able to do more work here is that uh, part of the seat I didn't realize that part of the heating system had collapsed in the in the in the front because uh, it's separated into different uh, into different uh, areas and it collapsed not in terms of anything in terms of dangerous uh, damage but uh, rather the uh, heating element went out and and wasn't producing any heat so all you get all you had was the circulation of cold air. So I made that repair. I did that. I'm doing some work on the kitchen. I'll be adding some new features to the kitchen as well. Uh, some new items to the menu. Uh, this, uh, the meditations that I'm doing in terms of the fasting meditations is going very well. I've got some new foods to, 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 to sample, to, to try out, and uh, I'm quite enjoying uh, what I am uh, having. Added some two new tablets to the back here. These weren't new, they're not new in terms of uh, purchase brand new, but they were uh, system uh, tablets that I just weren't really, they were really using, using it too much. And I'm in the process of refurbishing them and repurposing them for a uh, uh, job on terms of uh, using them as a, uh, a development desk to uh, test various different, various different features out on. Uh, so it, it's, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Uh, I think there is definitely a certain amount of. Not anxiety or even interpreta interpretation, but the, the, with the, but really, uh, oh, the word has escaped me. The, 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 it's it, it's surprised that I've moved this far this fast, uh, but understanding at the same time that there is still so much further to go. Uh, the editing is moving well. I've been able to sort of unite the uh, phones in a singular desktop the way you would have on Linux. Uh, I've got new keyboards, wireless keyboards, uh, for, uh, for everything. One of the wireless keyboards I have here, that's for the, for the system behind me, with the, uh, that the monitor is, the monitor is providing the light for everything. You know, find a place to put this. <laughs> uh, so... Things are going well. It's just a matter now that, that the weekend is, the weekend is upon us, and uh, uh, it see, seems weird that the week has gone by so quickly. And that's what it's, you know. During the week, it, is, it seems a little rough, a little difficult uh, because it goes it goes slowly. But I do want it to go slowly. I don't want. I don't want things to go by too quickly because it's, you know. That means life goes by faster. <laughs> and there's a different feeling when when you're when you're older that is compared to when you're younger. You want things to go fast. But even, even as a young younger person, when you know, you quite you kind of regretted things going fast because I I was a person who realized that things end. And I always had these ominous feelings when I knew things were going to end. You know, forever that things were going to change forever. I just had this feeling I couldn't figure I couldn't necessarily put my finger on it, but in terms of giving it a description, but I did feel as if something was going to happen that this was going to be the end for whatever. The, 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 I remember the feeling I had, and some of the music that I was listening to, uh, 
on the last day, uh, on the last Halloween that we went uh, trick-or-treating. After that, it just was never the same after that. Uh, the last time I was in Boston, you know, was seeing my grandma. My grandmother's gone now. The, the house where she was at and where we always used to go, that's gone. Uh, my aunt's house is gone. A large chunk of what was isn't anymore. And when you've experienced enough of, of the stuff that was but isn't anymore, this is when you want things to slow down because you understand that in many cases things are, are temporary. They're not as permanent as you would like to think that they are. And so you want to savor the time as much as you possibly can and savor the moments. Uh, and even if they are going by slowly, that, that for many cases, in many ways, that's kind of a good thing because now you're, you're exper experiencing the time uh, in, a, in, in a fuller manner. <sighs> now this court kind of popped up as I was going through some of the pictures on the tablet there looking back to uh, where I had my trailer and I haven't been up in, I haven't been up in two years and this was look, looking they were putting in a new stove a new wood stove uh, they, there was an old one that had been there almost for 20 years and they replaced it finally and it is there was just a feeling up there that you know it was just so nice and it, it, you thought it would never end, but at the same time, it did end. And this is these are the things you remember. These are the things you remember fondly. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this here for now. This is sort of the end of the vlog. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Probably won't be doing any schooling tomorrow. Uh, things are here. My boots are here. The, the, I've, I've fixed up my pants. Uh, but there's still things that need to be done, and it's not going to be done in time to, to actually go scooting tomorrow. So I'll probably leave the scooting for some time uh, uh, in, in, the, in sort of the middle of the, like Monday or Tuesday. Uh, we'll kind of have to sort of see when I'll get back on the scooter and, and ride it through the winter and see how you know how the, how it goes. Uh, we have all seasons, just not all weather because you can't ride when it's raining out, and you can't ride when it's snowing out. So. Uh, that's it for now. I will see you in a couple hours for uh, Saturday's vlog. We're ending Friday's vlog right now. Oh, Saturday's vlog is going to be Saturday and Sunday all together. So we'll see how this end, end, ends up turning out. things are going to get. It is uh, one hour and, tw and 30 minutes into the day of December th uh, 20th, uh, 2020. Uh, it's uh, just about uh, uh, this is 1 o'clock, 1.30 in the morning. Uh, I was supposed to vlog earlier, but wasn't able to get a chance to do that. There is just uh, too much on the plate and ended up uh, just coming here. So this is uh, the beginning of the weekend vlog, and we vlog uh, uh, two days, uh, Saturday and Sunday, because it often morphs, morphs, in, morphs into one day, uh, and that's kind of what's happening, and that's why I'm vlogging at 1.30 1 in the morning, and just now starting to vlog, because uh, the amount of work that I had to do, there was uh, cleaning to do, there was, um, I'm working on a new project that had to be where information had to be vetted. I had to go into uh, more of the details. It is it's not simply a matter of getting up there and, and, and tweeting whatever you want to tweet. It's a matter of uh, of putting information out there uh, that has a background to it. And so if people want to go in, you know, go from the tweet, which is very superficial, into something more significant, then you, that's, then you have to have all the backing information. You can't just simply go out there and tweet it. Uh, you have to have the backing information. You have to know why you're tweeting what you're tweeting. 
uh, the direction you want people to go in. And in other words, it's it, it, it's a coordinated move where the tweet is just one aspect uh, of the move. Uh, and this is talking about QLARP, this is talking about uh, uh, moves in terms of uh, intel, the, uh, the, the, the how you present information is really important because it affects what people think, what people say. Sometimes you do have to be provocative and sort of get people angry and sort of you know, use uh, provocative words, but at the same time, you want to get them to start thinking. You want to, It's not simply about being provocative and only being provocative. You've got to get them to think. If provocative doesn't do anything but make them angry, then uh, the whole point of being provocative has lost, has been lost, and you're not getting them to think. You're not getting them to sort of challenge uh, their ideas. And this is kind of what a lot of intel is actually about, is presenting information in a way that allows people to sort of change their minds. And the thing is, well, why support Donald Trump? Well, because I, the thing is, I don't support Donald Trump lock, stock, and barrel. He is a point to a direction because the other direction is significantly worse. But what happens is that Donald Trump has a lot of people around him who are feeding him false information. How do you, how do you get them, to, how do you get Donald Trump to say, well, you know, maybe you're wrong about this and change the direction? You have to have enough people to sort of, sort of sway the information. But sometimes you have to go in directions that doesn't necessarily look that good initially. In other words, the optics don't look that good. It looks like you're going in the opposite direction, but the reality is you're taking people in the opposite direction because it needs to correct... Uh, I'll give you an example from the scooter. You're driving down the road. Typically, you got to balance yourself. You don't want to lean to the left and you don't want to lean to the right because if you lean to the left, you go to the left. If you lean to the right, you go to the right. Now, what, let's say a, 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 the wind comes in and then blows to the left. Well, you have to lean to the right to, to uh, uh, you have to lean to the right to correct for the wind that's blowing to the, from from the left, because the wind coming in this direction will blow you in that direction because it causes you it creates a bias and it causes you to go in the right direction. So you have to go back into the left direction in order leaning into the wind to a certain degree to correct for that. Uh, the bias that comes in initially, that well, the, the the influence that's pushing you to the right, uh, and the same thing that occurs if, if if a wind is coming from from the right and pushes you to the left, you have to lean into the right to, in order to correct things. In other words, there's a balance here, and this is a, sort of the same thing uh, in politics. There's something known as the political wind, and sometimes in order to correct things, you have to lean to the right or lean to the left in order to correct things to keep things. Uh, more or less center. You're not going to get things exactly right. There's going to be uh, a, a, an average uh, uh, direction or trend in the central position, but there's always going to be a meandering between the left and the right, depending on how, where, depending on where the forces are necessary to lean against. And this is the, this is the this is the construction of the research. The research needs to keep this in mind. Uh, you need to sort of come in with an open mind, but then how do you change people who are not of open-mindedness? They don't have this level of understanding, but they have their particular view, their perspective. How do you get them out of their perspective into this new understanding? That's This is part of the issue, part of, of how you present things and what makes research very complex because most people, will, you only have a tweet in order to get through to them. If you don't have that tweet, you're gone. You've missed your chance. You've missed your window, and now you have to reset up all over again to, to, to well, try to try again and see if you, if you can make a change or make a difference. And this is sort of where we are now. And my goal is to prevent a war. Uh, I don't want to see an increase in violence. I want to see a decrease in violence. And so this is the way I approach my uh, my sort of my game. My aspect of QLARP uh, is to play a good guy, a white hat who's working to reduce war. And sometimes you have to go to the left, sometimes you have to go to the right, and present the arguments that you don't always have to be one side or the other specifically, but a balance of the two that will get you in the right center direction. And in terms of many cases, instead of having rhetoric in terms of helping people, in terms of philanthropy, getting up and actually doing the getting the job done.
And unfortunately, this is not the record with the Democrats or the liberals. The liberals, in their call for philanthropy and humanity, end up killing more people than they end up helping. Anyways, uh, uh, that's it for now. I'll probably come back uh, sometime uh, Sunday night uh, to give you a goodbye or, or the, uh, give you another segment uh, of the vlog. There's the bus. Well, things have been going better than expected. It is now the 21st of December. It is uh, uh, Monday, December 21st. It's five hours and 21 minutes into the day. And things are going pretty well. It's, as per usual, very little sleep <laughs> or a shifted sleep schedule. Uh, I've got two more tablets working back here now. I just finished fixing them up. I'm watching some vlogs. Uh, right now I'm at uh, uh, five family vlogs on the YouTube stroll. That's the, the base path. I haven't gone off the base path yet. Uh, I don't think I'm going to today. I think uh, I'll go into sort of finish the last five, like five vlogs. It's typically because I'm not here uh, Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so I have a bit of binge watching to do. And yeah, so everything seems to be working out pretty well. So this is the this is the end vlog for the uh, two day the two day weekend, uh, where two days becomes one. Uh, again, no no sleep over Saturday night. Uh, in terms of uh, I sat up all night and did some work, and I thought I'm getting a lot of work done. I'm getting the the progress is there. It just it takes a long time to get things done sometimes. You'll think of one way to do something, and then you'll have a second way of doing it, and a third way, and a fourth way, before you're finally happy with what you have. And even when you finish what you have, there's always the second or third. You always get some other way of doing something, or some other way of phrasing it, and maybe that might be better. But the thing is, you do have to, at some point in time, just sort of choose something and go with it. And evolve from that point out, but uh, these are two for two two more video projects that I'm working on that will sort of fill out the uh, the the uh, content portion of Cyborg Alpha TV Network. One is going to be uh, a spiritual a spiritual uh, 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 <coughs> type of show. But a half hour length. Uh, I don't think people go beyond a half hour. And then there's going to be a news one. Uh, somewhat news, but I, I look at news kind of as a sort of a uh, observational psychology. And so that's the way I'm approaching it. So, uh, But otherwise, uh, typically where, where, where things would be falling off, I wouldn't be starting off until Wednesday in terms of getting uh, my schedule done. I'm back on schedule uh, within uh, within uh, eight hours of coming back and collapsing and <laughs> getting up and starting all over again. So I didn't wait. I'm not waiting until uh, I'm not waiting until uh, Wednesday to give myself sort of some time off in terms of uh, a break. So, but uh, I will catch the breaks. Uh, by adding a little bit more time to sleep, but the thing is, is that the sleep depends on uh, how much I have, how much I end up doing in the dream world. Uh, that sort of determines how long I sleep for. If there's uh, if there's a, a fair amount to do, I end up spending longer. If there's not a lot to do, if there's sort of not much to get done, and, and things end up finishing early, then uh, I don't sleep. Uh, the the sleep is shorter as well. So. Uh, that sort of determines what goes on in terms of my schedule <coughs> uh, in the other uh, realm. That's the, the the dream world. And at the, at this point in time, uh, there's no possible way of of uh, vlogging there. So uh, <laughs> just nothing I can do in terms of uh, other than the description here. Uh, in terms of uh, providing some form of uh, 
video, <laughs> some, sort of, some form of vlog or clips for that for uh, work on the dream well. So just sort of, uh, but it, it is interesting. I think things are going well. Uh, I've had some unusual experiences. Uh, sometimes, you, well, more, not sometimes, more often than not, you have to wait for events to occur within a dream. Uh, sometimes th th they are coming there or, or they work themselves out uh, when you're awake. And this is sort of the interconnection between the dream world and the real world. Ooh. And it, 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 cause not everything in the dream world is very specific. Again, a lot of it has to do with your own behavior. If you're able to adjust your behavior in such a manner that it becomes beneficial... Uh, and you end up with a, with some form of benefit while you're awake, uh, then the result of that will take will still take some time. It'll take a couple of days to fully realize that uh, you've achieved uh, that sort of uh, that goal that you had within the dream or, or that that state of existence. Uh, and, and so it it it, it does. As I said these things are, are not immediate. Uh, you don't always understand the initial right away. Sometimes there is a process to it. Uh, but then this is the same thing with gaming. This is the same thing with LARP, uh, the QLARP thing that I'm doing, which is also a form of gaming. Things that, that in order to achieve, uh, do take a bit of effort, and they also take a bit of time. And one of the key things is, is being patient. Even though you, you tend to want to move quickly, uh, the reality is you really don't move that quickly. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will see you in a couple hours when we start um, uh, Monday's vlog.